the people will give lecture. Allahi, my brother, now I understand. It took me three days or more to prepare this. Even this speech is not mine. But subhanAllah, the one who gave khutbah, the one who gave lecture, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the teachers, the one who teach math, mashallah, and we have one with us here, mashallah. And please make dua for him, inshallah, uh, to be able to teach our children, inshallah. And inshallah, um, thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who gave me ability to speak, inshallah. And thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you listen to me without being bored. Now I will pass the microphone, inshallah, to my brother Abdul Karim, and the one who revert, inshallah, and the one who has a problem, and then inshallah, by the will of Allah Ta'ala, he will inshallah share his experience inshallah with us all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wal asr min al-insan wa fi-usr al-lazina aminu wa'amu al-sarihat, wa tawassu bil-haq wa tawassu bil-sabr. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa sallillahu wa sallim, wa radallahu tukarram, wa barik ala muhammadin wa ala al-muhammad. Jazakum ala khidmat. Inshallah, we'll ask the Sheikh to come back to the mic during the question and answers. If you have any questions on Nokia, um, what the Sheikh has uh, briefly to just give us.
know, I've, I've submitted to a power, I've not submitted to a law, I've not sub submitted to a law power, you know, um, whichever way, um, whichever, whichever way that, that power, you know, um, manifested, and it was with me, it was with Jim and Shay Tan. And once I was high on drugs, um, I forgot about the law. And you know, the gym controlled me through the drugs, you know. You know, I can describe, you know, I can describe, you know, the lifestyle that I led. Um, you know, the, the main the main thing was the isolation, you know, being a prisoner. Um, I was I was physically imprisoned as well, but mentally uh, I was imprisoned as well in my mind. Um, I was isolated, I'd lost touch with all my family. The brothers who were referred to his language as well, I've lost touch with all of them as well. I, I try and speak up. No, no, no. Okay, I'll try and speak up. Should I start again? Okay. Sure. So yeah, so I started, I started losing touch with my family and I, I ended up in a mental, mental institution for a long time. The gin got me to, to a place where I, I couldn't express myself, and um, I was I was put onto a psychiatric ward for 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 a long time, for about twelve months, if I remember. And all that time, I was just thinking about using drugs, using drugs, using drugs. But I remembered the shahada that I'd taken, and all through it, you know, I'd hope that you know sometime. Someday I would end up, you know, coming back to Islam, and, and I could have what you know my brothers had, you know, families and wives. Um, well, I just wanted one wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, this, the depths in which I went to, you know, I had no hygiene. You know, I was begging on the streets, and um, most most of the time um, I, I didn't have any contact with anybody. And I was ill, and um, the gym, the gym made my decisions for me. And the share of time, you know, um, whenever I woke up in the morning, the first, the first thing I had to do was follow what the gym was telling me to do, and that was to go and find money to, to buy drugs. Um, so I was a slave, you know, I was a slave to the gym, and how Allah um, rescued, rescued me from this. Because you know my, my active addiction lasted for 15, a bit longer years, and um, I tried to go in hospital and to physically clean myself from from drugs, and I think it was about the ninth admission into hospital that I finally managed um, to get clean um, for the first time in my life since I took that first drug. My mind was clear, my mind was clear and you know with 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 me having be being introduced to Islam as well, that started to grow and grow and grow and I started to put in some action, you know, um, I went to a few services um, that, that could help me as well and um, I went to Umrah um, a couple of years ago and um, I can't describe, I can't describe to you the feeling of Umar um, for me as well, you know, it was a dream that was lost and was awakened um, and it became a reality for me in Mecca, um, Medina um, and I, I can't describe to you, you know, how I felt, my mind was starting to get stronger um, I made the wa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I asked him for forgiveness for my parents, I asked him to guide my brothers and my sisters and then um, finally after, after, after a long time, reluctantly, I asked him, I asked him well, to find someone for a wife and um, I got married when I come back from, from Umrah quite quickly, alhamdulillah. Um, and then, you know, I mean, it's been described before, you know, when people go to Mecca and Medina, you know, when they come back, that's, that's when you're dealing with, that's when you're dealing with shaitan, and, you know, especially, especially in my experience, you know, shaitan came, the jinn 
came out even stronger. And the way the gyms controlled me when I got back from Umla um, was like with voices in my head, um, you know, saying things like, you're so great now, you know, you're, you're, you're profit and you, you're special, you know, you've been to Umla and Mecca, you, you've, you've dealt with all this addiction and you really, you really well now and I was believing all that. I was I believed all that insanity in my mind, I actually believed it. And I started getting really paranoid. I started I started being aggressive and so my first wife and it ended up um, with it with a divorce and um, it was really hard to deal with and then you know I started praying again and started I didn't understand what was happening, you know, I just I just had to believe that this was the will of God. And I started praying again. And I met my now wife uh, about eight months ago. And you know, all the stuff that was going on in my mind, you know, I shared it, I shared it with my wife, you know, I told her about my addiction, I told her the way I felt, I told her the way I, f I fought, and um, she suggested that I do some look here um, with the shape and you know. I started, I started to see the lies, I started to see, you know, how my thinking, you know, was being exposed and how, how, how many lies I've been telling myself over the years and um, how the gym had been telling me um, were, were, was all false. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't my reality, but I, I chose to believe it. And, you know, the voices you know, after the look here, the voices and, and the power that the gym had over me, it, it decreased, it decreased and um, I started to regain my sanity um, and I found, I found, first of all, a law for, for that and um, for the Dean of Islam for that as well, um, for showing me a way to live, showing me, showing me the, the, the straight path. Um, Connected to my dean again, you know. Um, I'm, I'm now in a healthy marriage with my wife, where she's my friend, um, she's my confidant, um, she's my support, you know, as well as being gorgeous as well. Um, she's all in our things as well. Um, so, so, so that's my story, and um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wrap it up with, with, with again thanking everybody. Um, um, and I tell you my hope for the future, you know, my hope for the future, you know, is to stay on the um, not to ever to return um, to that um, pain again, you know, uh, through my experience, if, if there's anybody out there, you know, got a brother, got a sister, you know, struggling with this sort of stuff, it's, 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 there is hope, you know, there is, there is a way out of, of um, drug misuse and um, there is a way out of um, being possessed or being controlled by a gym and shit um, and it all starts with the fundamental belief in Allah is one and Muhammad is his messenger and with all of that, you know, anything can happen, lives can turn around, I'm changed. Um, through, through this deed um, and through the mercy of Allah. Um, now I've been to, I'm just going to wrap it up here. I don't know how I've been speaking. Um, sorry for the sisters who didn't hear the start of what I was saying. Um, my wife is up now. If you, you, need, if you want any questions answering, uh, just speak to my wife. Um, she's with the sisters. Well, but well, you know my advice. You know I've been to I've been to Derby before, and I know I know uh, from Manchester. I know I know this subject. You know um, is, is touches the nerves sometimes. Yeah, but this is the reality of the society that we live in today, where where there's probably a lot of people in this room who who have been indirectly or directly affected uh, by drugs and gin. Um, so, you know, if, if there's any questions that, if there's anything, any advice that I can give, 
um, you know, it's just seeing company of, of, of good brothers, you know, trying to advise gently. It's really important. Because you you know, you you can't you can't you can't advise someone harshly because the first thing they do is is turn away from that. Um, Mm. So I think I think I don't want to sound redundant. I don't I don't want to sound sound I don't want to take too much more of his time. But also I want I want to do justice to um, where I'm at today and, and how far I've come and where I've been. Um, it's it's not like to be taken lightly, you know, because you know there's there's plenty of people out there suffering. Now people sleeping on the streets, people, people doing all the things I described, and um, just just to get by day by day, and um, all of us are affected by that, no matter who you are. Um, so if anybody, if if, if I reach anybody today, alhamdulillah, um, if if not, um, I just say a staff for Allah. Um, I thank Allah for for who you are being here today. To listen to me, and I thank a lot that um, I've had this opportunity to, to talk as well. I sincerely want for you, um, for what I want for myself, uh, inshallah, and Jannah for uh, me and my wife and um, the people that I love so much. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Jazakallah <laughs> Inshallah, we have one hour before each other. We're going to play, play the presentation, um, which will last for about 20 minutes. Inshallah, we'll have a short question and answers. We'll pray, inshallah, and inshallah, then the food will be served upstairs. But just on the topic of drugs, as the brother mentioned, um, it is a disease. Many of us, as the brother mentioned, are directly or indirectly affected by this. Inshallah, in the second week, uh, of the new year in this masjid, we will be ho holding a drugs workshop, um, a drug seminar. Uh, we've been approached by the drug uh, officers who work with the council whether they can do a seminar in this masjid, and we will be more than gladly, you know, we've accepted that and offer. We spoke to the committee, inshallah, and inshallah, recently, within two or three weeks, a seminar will be held to give free advice to anybody who needs it on the topic of drugs. If you know somebody who's that, you know, in your family who's taking drugs, or somebody, you know, at a distance, whether a friend or an associate, then you'd be more than welcome to come. But more, bear in mind, as the brother mentioned, drugs or have a lot to have a, a, a serious effect. And the more you take, the more you get entrapped by the gym, and they will continue to harm you internally and externally, physically, to that point. So for brothers who have young children, please, you know, we are going to play some videos of